to record. Uh, all right, hello and welcome. This is uh, game, uh, not game. Yeah, well, this is game one, but this is my match in big games against Ultimate Geek. And uh, I should just take a brief look at the standings. I'm on the top and uh, I am with seven and one record after this amazing 4-0 victory against Chestic. Um, yeah, and uh, I'm looking to, and this is quite a surprising matchup for me because Ultimate Geek is not very high seeded in terms of ladder or any other things. Uh, so yeah, uh, it's very hard for me mm, to actually pay attention to messages in Discord. But sure. Okay, uh, we have a Shepherd Kingdom with the Lamp. Um, so the draw is Shepherd, the draw is Ranger. Patrician can sometimes draw cards. Uh, we have Trashing in the form of Displays, Sentry, Catapult. I think I like Catapult Trashing the most. It's kind of weird. I know what the end game looks like here. Is it just there's no villages, so we either go with shepherds or we go with one displays to remove provinces and like a and that deck only can buy one province at the time, and if we don't play with this place, then we, hmm. yeah, I'm not sure what the, what the start is. Not sure what to do in this game. I think I want to open Catapult because it's trashing. I do think it's generally good to play with Shepard. But I'm not sure if it's good now. Also, I of course want to pop the lamb as soon as possible. Um, well, Shepherd's really good at popping the lamp, and I have Copper, Lamp, Pasture, Shepherd, Catapult, that's five. So I can't pop the lamp yet, but I'm pretty close already. Um, if I go for a Shepherd. <clears throat> the lack of plus buy, I think this is just... I mean, I think you want to play with Shepherd in these kind of kingdoms then, because if you don't have plus buy, then what are we doing? Yeah, my opponent opts to go for Shepherd. I shall make them discard cards, because that's what Catapult's great at. And my opponent does not have a Catapult. And they might be hoping to... Pop the lamp. I think they got there. Uh, so I can't pop the lamp yet. I think next turn I go for the lamp pop. Possibly. Is this if I draw two? I have five cards in my deck. Don't love it. I think I add token and I go for a lamp pop next turn. Uh, I wish I had gone for the lamp pop this turn, actually. I almost got it too. Wow. It's just. Yeah, I would have gotten it if I uh, went for it. Oh well. I'm gonna go for it next turn. I think I want the secret cave then, or maybe is it a is it a conspirator already? I think it's a secret cave. My opponent still does not have a catapult. Also, should be paying attention to the basilica points, uh, because I'm really bad at doing that usually. <sighs> yeah, the problem of playing with shepherd is that my deck is really inconsistent. Uh, my opponent pops the lamp. Mm. and gets to trash two estates. I don't... 
I don't know why do they have this shepherd if they trash two estates though. That seems really odd to me. Uh, oh, I should turn off the spec chat, right? Uh, okay, now you guys can uh, talk in chat and uh, don't uh, actually interrupt the game. Oh my god. Oh my, I hate it here. It's it's so bad. The, the next hand has a shepherd and no green cards. Oh, it's so bad. Oh, it is so bad. Well, I'm going to attack my opponent. And, uh, yeah. Oh, it is a disaster. Oh, no. Okay. Mm. Well, I I may lose this game. <laughs> Seems very likely that I will lose this game, actually. My opponent seems to be using Sinister Plot to offset my Catapult. Uh, they've got their own Catapult now, right? Yeah, they bought it last turn. That's unfortunate. I I would have wished that they did not get a Catapult. Are you playing with Shepherds bad? Because of Catapult? Hmm. Maybe I can use Shepherd to activate Sentry at least. But I want the points from uh, from the estates because I don't think we are doing a whole lot this game. I don't think these decks are going to be very good. I mean, my opponent has three cards of their choice for free, and I'm not going to have that until the next turn. And additionally, I don't have a shepherd in my next hand. <sighs> They're provincing already. Okay, yeah, that this this is just a loss, probably. Yeah. Have I mentioned that I love the magic lamp and it's the greatest card ever and all that, or something? Is there a five? There's no five cost cards in my deck, right? So this, this patrician cannot draw anything. Dendro Secret Cave. So I, yeah, so I don't have. Oh. Is there a way to avoid this? Maybe? Well, I'm gonna toss the green cards into the shuffle. I don't think this conspirator is going to activate. Uh, all right. Hmm. I don't want to kill this estate. <sighs> Let me just click on Patrician. And I add the token here. And uh, hopefully something good comes out of it. I, I am getting both Sentry and Magic Lamp in the same game. It's, it's not the great feeling. <laughs> okay, there. one thing that I could do is I could wish for Emporia and catch up on points that way. I do need a gold, though. I need to start the Displays Dance at some point, too. And I guess Conspirator should be my money. So that hopefully I can get this. Yeah, maybe the shepherd is just bad. This probably is just bad. I'm going to draw two.
Uh, oh, no. Do I just do I just admit that the shepherd was horrendous and the are trashing estates? It's so late. I don't think I'll get anywhere by doing that. Hey, what is the out here? Oh god. How do I get out of this? <laughs> Because again, I'm going to draw Shepherd with no green cards next turn. Maybe I shouldn't have played the last Patrician, but I think I'm far behind enough so that I need to find the Shepherd. Um, yeah, I just I don't know. I it's just I don't know what to do here. You just don't play the catapult. I think I am going to buy an estate and I'm going to hope that this chef that I can draw some green cards for this shepherd so that I can pop the lamp this turn. I just the magic lamp. God damn it. The card <laughs> It's so, it's so annoying. It's, it's so silly. Okay, my opponent uncovered Emporia. Don't discard. Um, I top deck a copper. Perfect. I mean, okay, perfect is a very optimistic word. It's very far from, uh, this is very far from perfect, in fact. I think I want another shepherd at some point, but I cannot hit the begin of number. I think I need a silver. <laughs> as embarrassing as it looks. Okay. Maybe the fact that there is a catapult in this game makes it slow enough so that I can come back. Uh, I just need to find a wish, and this hand's pretty good, or a shepherd. My opponent is drawing deck. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, maybe I should have gone for something more standard and just gone for a cantrip deck with patricians as uh, occasional card draw. That, yeah, no, that was probably the play. But then, you again, you want to go for the card. I, I don't... I think I took a risky approach to this game and it did not pan out very well at all. Yeah, I think you should buy an Emporium here. I don't think I use the Sinister block. Okay. Yay! All right, I get to do things. That is extremely awesome. I mean, I'd love to be able to do things earlier on, but I, I'll take this. Um, oh, what does this say? When you gain this, if you have at least five action cards, this is five action cards. All right. Uh, I should grab the points when I can. Um, I'm not sure that I want to discard with this. As what? Well. There's a wish here. How many cards did I discard? I discarded three. Um, 
I'm leaving two green cards on top if I use this shepherd in the secret cave. Mm -hmm. One if I wish for a conspirator. Am I okay with leaving green cards on top? I can use Sinister Plot maybe to get out of the situation. I think I want to wish for another Emporium so that I can have points to be in this game. And I think I want to grab the rest of the Basilica points too. Okay, now yeah, that is a silver. I could discard. No, that is terrible to discard. Uh, oh yeah, if I wish for Emporium, I only leave one green card on top. That's fine. All right, I shall attack you with this catapult, and uh, I want Basilica points, I think, and I want these Emporium points. Okay, I'm at 18 points, and I can gain estates because, uh, I guess, did you trash your pasture? Probably didn't. Uh, is the... No, pasture is not in the trash. We didn't trash your pasture. Okay, it's not. It's far from over. Uh, I think we we are still in this. Uh, yeah. I think we are very much still in this. Hmm. Yeah. The, the problem is my opponent has sentries to uh, fetch through the uh, thirds. Okay, sure. I don't know what you're doing there, but now you're discarding your pasture. Yeah, you still have your pasture. Oh, I'm behind the displays. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's bad. <laughs> I think I, with this hand, I think I can safely add the token. Maybe it's not a good hand though. Okay, I mean... I didn't province yet. Now, I'm not sure what that displace is doing for me, but maybe my opponent does. I'm, what, eight points behind? Oh. That's a lot of points to be behind. Okay, what do I need to be doing? I need to be buying a province, I need to be exiling a catapult this turn, I think. I have a secret cave, so buying the province should be pretty easy because I already see six. Uh, yeah. What am I examining the catapult into? If I have the choice. This could be another conspirator. Just make sure that I have enough money. Do I want to add a token or do I want to draw? I think I save this for the situation where I get attacked or something. Oh, this is the wrong order. Well, that is unfortunate. Maybe it isn't so terrible. Okay. Um. So I don't think I want to look into the discard pile. I have eight without doing so. Um, yeah. Yeah, so there's no, not a whole lot of reason. Okay, another way to play this is to gain a ranger and uh, try to build to 16. I'm so far behind on the points. Oh, God. Uh, maybe I discard the copper into an estate. 
just to start closing the the points gap. Yeah, maybe I just should do that instead. And this catapult might become useful at some point. Uh oh, this hand looks bad. Right here, I might do a sinister plot. I have on my mind uh, trashing the the silver. My opponent has so many golds. Oh no! Yeah, this this is just not going anywhere. My opponent is like a so consistent. Yeah. Yeah, it's just my opponent is going to pop the sinister one. Okay, well, I I would have loved to have swept this match, but <laughs> that is probably too much to wish for. Probably do this. Right, I'm going to click the the buttons and hopefully get somewhere. Mm. I barely have 8 in my deck. I mean, I don't want 8 anyway. I'm just going to exile this catapult into a duchy. Um, here's a problem. I think I need... I mean, there's a lot of problems. <laughs> 12 points, I am 15 points behind. Yeah, this is this is pretty resignable. Uh okay. Maybe my opponent somehow does through two turns in a row. I, I don't know. Probably not going to happen. <laughs> yeah, alright. Maybe maybe my opponent can double province here. Can, they can only single province, and then they dot two turns in a row. Let's let's stick with that plan. Or maybe they by mistake uh, trash their pasture and they don't realize it. Ah, oh. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. There there were no outs there. Um, okay. Who went first in that game? They went first in that game. Thank God. Uh, all right. Let's see. Alright. Yeah. Okay. This next kingdom has four trusts. Does it have trash for benefit? Well, yes, but not actions. Uh, there's Galleria. There's Border Village. Okay, what do we have for drawing cards? It's just Barge. Uh, and yeah, it's just barge. And this is, hmm, you want to hit big numbers a lot here. So I could consider going, going double silver. It's just, it feels wrong to go double sil silver over Spice Merchant. And also, you can never trash estates in this kingdom. Mm -hmm. Maybe double silver over spice merchant is correct because there is there is border village barge so like the draw engine well the barges are super important and the draw engine is pretty powerful there's also a relic which might come into play because it's just an annoying card if I had a 5-2, I'd probably be opening with Relic. Uh, yeah, and 5-2 looks really good on this board, so I'm not that happy about this. I could also... Hmm. I could also delve... I, I could also borrow. I don't think borrowing is all that great. What am I borrowing for? Galleria is actually quite reasonable, maybe too. Yeah. No. 
I, I don't want to borrow in this hand. Uh, I think I'm going to go with uh, double delve. I might borrow for the spice merchant here. That that's wrong. That, that that's very weird what they did. I like I don't like borrowing on the first hand because then the second hand might not hit four. It's very likely to not hit four in fact. Uh I could borrow or I could just buy a silver. I think I'm going to borrow for a spice merchant on this hand. Alright, I'm not unhappy with this actually. Bard. Okay, I did not expect that. Well, Okay, whatever. Four, four cost terminal gold, I guess. Uh, it's not even. Uh, they just hit the four cost gold. I think I want to keep on drawing. Um, they bought. They took a treasury? Hello? <laughs> are, are we playing the same kingdom? Mm -hmm. They want to borrow for a border village. Because I think I'm buying a barge here. Mm. I think I don't mind borrowing for the border village. With that. I don't think I want a second spice merchant. I might grab the secret passage. I might also double silver again. That's a lot of silver to be putting in my deck. Hmm. How many silvers did I I put three silvers in my deck already? Yeah no. Okay, I'm not putting another silver in there. I think I'm going to go with secret passage. If I draw a barge here, this is quite incredible on this border village. If I don't, then it's less incredible. <laughs> if I draw a spice merchant into barge, I take that too. Oh my god. Uh, okay, I didn't draw my Spice Merchant, uh, but I can Border Village for another Barge, and that seems pretty good. Uh, where's the the plus buy is Galleria and Spice Merchant, and oh, there's Bards for plus buy. I don't never need to worry about plus buy. In fact, a State Out is a possibility. How is my opponent drawing anything? How is that even? possible. Okay, well, let's play this first for information. Um, I think I just put this copper on top and uh, grab the border village. Or, well, yeah, on the bottom, in fact. This card doesn't need me to top deck it. I'm just going to play border village barge for a while. I click on those two cards. Okay, so what I could do here is I can play the... I don't remember whether there's a border village down there. But let's find out. There isn't. Okay, I can next turn this. And I shall borrow for a border village and a barge. <laughs> I think this is what the deck is supposed to do here. Just click border village barge a bunch and uh, figure it out later. My opponent doesn't even have plus buy. That's so sad. Um, Alright, now... Let's go. How many barges do I have? I think four, right? So there's another barge down there. And I don't think there is another barge down here. In fact, it doesn't matter, because I am going to draw all of my deck. And... uh Next turn this, and it's pretty consistent. Okay, so now I can, uh, now that I'm drawing deck, I can start being fancy, maybe. I could click another border village and another barge. I, I feel for pretty free to borrow here, and click border village barge, and uh, maybe relic. Border village barge. Yeah, I I like tossing that token onto their deck. I'm looking to 
have 16 at some point because the estate out is uh, very much possible. The estate pile out, I guess I should say. Okay, we are borrowing. Yeah, but now they have now they apply the token twice. Alright, let's click these buttons. I have plenty of border villages down there, so I shall keep drawing. Uh yeah. I think I'm going to play this card first. Oh yeah, I also have this one. Nice, okay, so I could play both of these barges as a next turn and just stick the estate at the bottom. Uh, yes, let's next turn both of these barges. Let's play ice. I have 11. Oh yeah, because I'm trashing the copper every time. Okay, so I think I want to... Hmm. Mm. How many buys do I have if I use all of my things as buys? One, two, three, four, five. Spice Merchant is six. Natural buy is seven. Uh, yes, I'm not quite getting close to there. I mean, I could delve for an extra buy if I have a Galleria in play. That's pretty good. Mm, yeah, that's kind of like Traveling Fur, but it adds a silver to my deck, which I'm not sure that I'm that excited about adding a silver to my deck. Um, anyway, I think I'm going to borrow and uh, buy two border villages, once with Galleria, and... Uh, if my opponent gets on top of these barges, I think I might have an estate pile out. I'm using. Well, basically, I'm cl clicking a borrow is like drawing a copper. Um, but but the, it's a copper that's at the bottom of your deck. It's pretty decent. <laughs> Or on top of your deck, actually. It's more like a copper on top of your deck because it's next turn. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh it's it's not that good. Uh okay, anyway. I should be looking on oh, that that boon's pretty good. Okay, I had eleven. I added a galleria. And I can also use the Spice Merchant for plus buy. So I can go up from 11 to 14 and to 15. And we've borrowed that 16. Okay, so if they borrow for double barge here, they lose. So hopefully they do that. Ah, oh, damn it! <laughs> You're supposed to borrow for double barge and lose. It's, it looks very pretty, it makes me look pretty smart. Um, okay. But my opponent did not choose to look, make me look smart. Um, I stick this at the bottom. I don't need to draw there. It's just to not do so. Well, let's click all of these. I have like, I have some barges left, right? Uh, let's play this now. Yeah, let's play two of these as next turns because I'm not winning this turn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I have plenty of villages. I think I'm going to trash this for coins by. Yeah. And I'm just one barge off. I mean, I could buy it. 
Uh, no, but then I'm one off again. I could delve Bard's province. Pretty good. Okay. That should probably be checkmate. Oh, my opponent does. Okay, yeah. Well, my opponent did not click Border Village Barge, and I did. <laughs> okay, I guess I can still do that here, but uh, this just um, seemed pretty clean. I added the silver, so I have enough money. Okay, I guess I can still do that. Okay, no, I'm not going to. Mm. Now, and then click on this, and then click on coins buy, and then click on now. Right, I did not mess this up. Uh, 8, 10, 12, 13, 16, yeah. Okay. Click, 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 click. All right. All right, this was very, very clean. I, I like this game. Uh, I think all of these games should go like this. Also, I'm not updating the score on my OBS. Uh, right. I should do that. Okay, let's... I guess I should GG to them in Discord, and let's go for the next game. Yeah, um, about the messages, we are not going to be using chat because my opponent told me they can see messages in the chat. So uh, I guess, uh, yeah, we, you won't see the messages that are in Discord, but it's nothing really. We're just saying GG after each game and we are not talking much uh, other than that. Anyway, yeah, okay, it's 1-1. One, one. Uh, that that was pretty nice. Okay, what do we have here? There is hard draw with Herald, Capital City, Settlers, Bustling Village, Cellar stuff. It's all very, very sketch. Um Capital City can draw but only with harvest or trade route. Uh, I mean, I love Harvest, don't get me wrong, but I don't... <laughs> Harvest also synergizes with Settler Bustling Village things. Alright. How about I don't talk myself into playing with Harvest? Don't talk myself into playing with Harvest. It probably seems smarter than playing with Harvest. Uh, is Overlord a good card here? No idea. I mean, it's probably good just because there are a bunch of fives on this board, but these fives don't look particularly appealing. Mm. Let's buy with Trader Out. This, this board looks like it's lacking draw, and it's lacking draw quite severely. Are there multi types? This is, what are the multi types on this board for Falconia Reacts? It's just Falc is it just Falconia? Oh, oh no. Oh, okay, and it's Overlord. Oh, my opponent has a Falconia. Hmm. I mean, Cellar Settlers, Bastling Village stuff is. All right, but I'm not sure that I want it. What is colonnade? Um, okay, buy actions that you have copies of in play. Really care. Uh, opening herald's bad. Maybe I open trade route and overlord. Play Overlord as Harvest? No. <laughs> you can play Overlord as Capital City or as Falconia. That's pretty good. 
Uh, yeah, if I had a free four, that would be better. I still, I think I do want a trade route though. Yeah, my other one has a better split. If okay, if they had a falconier, they would have an amazing split. But this is fine. Mm. Yeah, I want to be trashing estates over coffers a lot because of settlers. Uh, the settler discord things, which I will be, I will be going for if I have less than three in hand. I just play over that. Okay, this is quite sad. I can just go capital city discard two f three my settlers. Uh yeah. I could also go Falconier. Gain uh I don't know then the gaining is not very good. I think I'm much rather I mean, I could gain a Herald or a Mountain Village. Not sure that these are a whole lot better than Settlers. Okay, and don't do that. And I shall buy a Settlers. And I shall buy a second copy of Settlers, probably, or maybe even a Seller. A Seller is probably ambitious. Mm. I think Harvest may come into play here, just because it's draw. But it's just like a cheeky one. It just would be like a cheeky one harvest, but probably Overlord can fill that role uh, better. <sighs> hmm. Yeah, I want to be. I really do want to be hitting five. And my next hand, I'm not going to do that. To do that very well. Yeah. Mm, do I just buy a silver here or do I? I mean, the problem is, my next hand has likely an overlord, likely a trader. Like, what I have left there is four coffers, an overlord, a trader out, and a settlers. If I draw the Settlers, I think I can hit 5 pretty well. I'm not trashing an estate though, and that's quite sad. Um, I think I want to be buying something that's useful. Actually, my opponent is not going to be buying the Settlers. So what I can do here is, uh, assuming that I hit my trade route, but I am guaranteed to do so, because I can just play a uh, capital city here. I think I do want to play this as capital city. I, I want the colonnade points, I think. I can uncover the bus links, which is not great, but whatever. Oh, I might as well discard, don't. And uh, what I want to be doing is I want to be taking this one, and I want to be taking this one, and taking a bunch of points doing so. Okay, now I want to cycle uh, pretty much all the way. I am interested in playing this Overlord as a Falconier. I am interested in gaining a Falconier at some point too. But I don't think I had an option to uh, hit five yet, because it gains it gains a cellar, it gains heralds, it gains mountain villages. It's pretty decent, and mountain villages are quite quite useful. Uh, maybe not because I'm discarding. The more that I look at this draw engine, the more it makes me realize that I want harvest. Also, my opponent had a really good turn. Uh, yeah. When are they playing their overlord? Uh, so yeah, capital city. As expected. Yeah, mountain village could be nice. Wait, they had a oh, they have a herald, right? 
So I have a Settlers and a Trade Art over them, and they have two Heralds and a Falconer and a Mountain Village. That doesn't look like a good trade, mm, does it? And uh, let's keep on cycling. Let's take these coppers. Okay. I am going to hit seven, which is going to go into repaying my debt. Maybe I can hit more than seven. No, I can't. Um, if I grab this Falconer, if I play this as a Falconer and play a Herald, and I still cannot hit more than seven because this needs to be played as a capital city. Wait, actually, what are these last four cards? Um, I mean, if I hit four of Harvest, I'm only hitting three this turn. It's not good. I think the best I can do is play a capital city then. The Falconier is just, it's so good though. I mean, maybe I just gain a Herald, uh, actually. That's unfortunate. All right, the advantage that I have is I have trashed cards. All right, uh, I'll take it. Mm -hmm. I have that. I think I want a seller. Yeah, but these heralds are going to start hitting for them because they have so many actions in deck. And that's a problem. Maybe I went for colonnade points too aggressively. Okay, anyway. Mm. I'm what? I'm one Herald, one Mountain Village, one Falconer behind, and I have a Cellar, I have a Settlers, and a Trade Route. And I have Trashed uh, cards. They have Trashed cards, too. I have Trashed three Estates, though, they have, and a Copper, and they have Trashed... Um, yeah, they have Trashed nothing. Oh no, they have Trashed one Estate. It's, a, it's pretty good. A pretty nice advantage to have. I do want a natural village. I, just, I need this Falconer. Yeah, they're going to take all the colonnade points too. Mm. So I could spend money for cards. I'm not sure that I want to. That's why I don't, yeah. I mean, I can just uh, find these cards. I could also play Overlord as a bustling. This is an option. I think I want to play the Overlord as a Herald, though. As, no, I want to play Overlord as a Falconer. We've been over this. And gain a Herald. And be sad about this. What is in there? Hmm. It's just a herald. I don't have any estates. Hmm. There's a herald. How many? How many games? No. Games? No. Am I behind? One of two heralds, yes. Ah, oh. hmm. So there's no herald there. There's two coppers and uh, some other card which I can't remember. It's not a trade route. It's not an overlord. I've played all of them. What is that card? Is it silver? If it's silver, I should play the seller. Oh, it was her. Oh, I can't count. Well, now I'm triggering a bad 
Maybe it's not so bad to have Hawkins in my starting hand, actually. Um, yeah, okay. The question is, what do I want? I think I want a capital city, and I think I want the... I think that gives me... Oh no, I want a Falcon here. What am I talking about? God oh, damn it. <laughs> yeah, and it's not so bad to have these coppers here because I can uh, cost them and I can draw them back out of settlers. And that's pretty good. Okay, they weren't that, so at least there's that, and they did not draw their deck. Mm, okay, so we have uh, some chances. <sighs> mm, what does this endgame look like? Is this a pile y sort of thing? Overlords don't pile. Basslings, I don't think they pile. Heralds will pile, and I don't think this is a pile y sort of thing. I think I'm heading for mostly a Herald deck, though. The copper. Alright, let's try to hit something. What's in there? Mm. I think the cards that are in there make me really want to play this Harvest. I think this is two Heralds, a Settlers, and a Mount and a Falconier, right? So that uh, would be free money. Okay, I'll. Now I should. Come on. This, this is the good card. Just, just go for a good card. Mm. Yeah, and uh, just, just play the good card. The good card is Falconier here. <laughs> Let's not overcomplicate this. Mm. There's really no need to do so. Okay, um, yeah, I can Falconier for this Herald. This Harvest is not doing a whole lot of good for me. Maybe a Grubber. I mean, I want all of the Heralds. And um, I'll figure it out with like harvests or something to be my payload. I don't want all of the heralds. I also can uh, play the capital city, uh, discard. I can discard these two and I can uh, draw them back up. All right. And I have seven. And this should be. Oh, I, I got distracted. Oh, damn it. Uh, I think I do want a natural harvest. It's just, it's the best payload option here, I think. Which is really funny. I don't know, maybe it's terrible. <laughs> it's probably terrible. It's probably Grubber that's better or something. Grubber is so awkward with Herald, though. What if you have to trash something that you... No, then you figure it out. Right, um, maybe Falconier is still good here. You could Falconier Mountain Villages. Uh, maybe it's another Overlord. Okay, oh, I think I will go for... I mean, the problem of another Overlord is that then I don't have the money next turn. I want this last Herald, though. Yeah, no, I don't want the last overlord. It was eight. Um, it doesn't cost eight though, it costs like six. Okay, six is better than eight. I'm going to do it like this. 
yes, this this harvest is uh, just me wanting to play with harvest more than anything else. This I'm not sure that this harvest is good, but <laughs> I just want to play harvest in my decks, all right? And and it's payload, and I like payload in in here. I need to be able to buy cards. It was probably just worse than a Falconer. Because Falconer can gain me like... Well, Fal Falconer can gain me... Uh, grubber uh, food. And grubber food is good. Yeah, since this game is ending on grubbers though, uh, I feel pretty good about my chances. Because Grubber is one of these cards that is definitely difficult to play with. And uh, I like that. And also they haven't trashed as well. Yeah, and I have a very clean deck because I've been trashing very religiously. And uh, they just got their trade out. <laughs> oh, they have a silver. That's interesting. I think I had one hit a capital city. The Herald split is 5 to 5, right? Against a Herald. Uh, they've gained 2, I've gained, and they've gained 2. Oh no. The Herald's. Okay, I lost the Herald split. This isn't, I don't think that matters as much, but. Like, I think I'll manage with two heralds. Uh, play this as capital city. Discard two for two. I think I'll take the two cards. And, uh... Oh. Well. I shall... Play this overlord as what? The harvest? And now I shall gain... Oh, Alright. I wanted to gain a mountain village, but that doesn't work. Uh, I could play this bass link. And take the settlers. Right. That's pretty good. Uh, take the copper. Play this guy as a mountain village. Okay, that, those were all of my coffers, literally. Um, so, yeah. Okay, so this has to hit an action. <laughs> Good. Oh, I have a harvest. Yeah, I have a harvest in my deck, right. Alright, well... Okay, this is not a storeroom, it's a cellar. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, I have a harvest in my deck. I should have remembered about that. Why did I buy... Okay, Overlord is harvest is okay. Harvest is not. Alright, we figured as much. Uh, nice. Uh... All right, the the fantastic this, this is truly phenomenal play, and uh, nothing has been done wrong this uh, this game yet. It's just it's nothing to worry about. I shall okay. I need money. Hey. Okay, gain the copper. And then, we <laughs> Before money harvest, all right. Uh, so I want to probably use this to toss one copper into there. Don't worry about it, uh, it's, it's fine. Okay, what's in there? There's an overlord uh, and there's a mountain village. 
So I probably want to draw into those. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's... I could also just gain money by discarding them over and over again. Yeah, I should do that. I should have probably done that before playing the Settlers. That would have been smarter. Uh, I kind of want to play that Overlord, though. Yeah, kind of wanted to play this guy. Alright, let's... I'm not sure why I'm gaining these mountain villages, but I'll use them for something. Uh, sure. Yeah, I'll... They, they'll be grubber food. Yeah, but that's their point in life. They'll be grubber food. All right, this, these turns were perfectly played. There was nothing messed up. And uh, this is just how you play Dominion at the highest of levels, obviously. Um, yeah. Nobody saw anything that happened during those turns, all right? <laughs> I can also herald into a grubber. Uh, that would be fun. Uh, yeah, that would be very fun. <laughs> Because I don't know what I'm doing. I guess if I herald into a grubber. I can just kill whatever and I'll just gain it back. Like a trade route. That's pretty a pretty whatever card. Also, the money in my deck comes from harvesting, so... It's pretty... A little bit cautious about that. Do I want to go up to four grabbers? I wonder. I mean, the problem, yeah, I probably do because the problem is I'll randomly hit a grabber at some point. And uh, yeah, and then it'll be bad. I should probably get a bus link too. Yeah, I'll randomly grabber into a bus link. Or something. Uh, whatever. I'll figure it out. Mm. Yeah, let's randomly grubber into something. Uh, that was not randomly grubbering. Okay, let's randomly grubber in. Oh, it actually happened. <laughs> okay. Uh, randomly grubber trade out into bus link. I should probably pick up that bus link, and then I should play a capital city, and I should discard two, and this should be these two, and then don't, because I have plenty of draw, and I should put this in my hand. Okay, I can't randomly grab her into a thing anymore. Oh, I could gain a trade route, and then I don't have to deal with that trade route. Yeah, I don't want to be gaining that trade art back anyway. Um, yeah, there is a harvest somewhere. Yeah, that that, that one. <laughs> All right, let's pick off this. Um, I would love to harvest into this discard pile, actually, again. Of this mountain village. Uh, the top card is a copper. I want to trash something into a grubber. I guess settlers. Settlers sounds good. All right, let's pick off this overlord. Then let's uh, play it as a capital city. And then we discard two coffers. And then we draw two. Could also kill the seller. That's probably better than killing the settlers. Um, although I'm not playing this. Oh no, I am playing the settlers. Yeah, perfect. Uh, I am not used to playing with grubber. And another. I thought that. I thought grubber gains onto my deck. I might have 
confused with this something. Okay. Well then never mind. I mean I didn't want that seller anyway. Uh so it's fine. Okay, and um, I should grab one of these. Oh no, I already grabbed one of these. I am the one that I grabbed the grabbed one of these. <laughs> I don't want one of these. I don't want one of these because I keep on playing my overlords as this. And I want a grubber. Yeah. Uh, if you did not uh, manage to tell by the by how this game was going, the harvest is one of my favorite cards in all of the minion. <laughs> also, um, grubber's auto pile. Right, so yeah, Grubber's auto pile. So if I could, uh... okay. The the fact that Grubber's auto pile is uh, highly ambitious. <laughs> They've gained my trade route. Sure. That, that is just a conditional... So okay. Mm. I could go for the Grubber's Autopile win, but something tells me that it'll be a disaster. And, uh, and I shouldn't do that. So, so let's go for it. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, okay, this this is way too ambitious. Where's my overlord? Oh god. Okay, thank you. Uh this is quite disastrous. Mm, let's play the capital city. I'm having way too much fun. This, this is why this is uh, this turn went so poorly. Um, yeah. Why am I trying to go up to six robbers? Oh no. I, I just am, all right? Uh, yeah. This is, this is a game with a terrible draw engine, so I really should not be doing that. Yeah. All right, I should be provincing. Probably. Yes, this is this is quite embarrassing. Mm. I'm gonna need these grubbers. Oh, all right. That's all my deck has is grubbers. All right, I'm going to province. I'm going to gain a grubber. And I'm going to gain a two cost card. Uh, yeah, okay. This this card's very difficult to play with. It confused me. Mm. I scored though, so that's good. I don't think my opponent has enough gains to pile mountain villages and basslings. No, mountain villages and grubbers. So I think I'm fine. All right, I'll be right back. I also, um, all right, I'm back, and I also realized that I did a really, really bad thing, and that is I left coppers in my deck for some unknown reason, and my heralds miss sometimes. 
And that's not good because I need card draw. <laughs> Anyway, um, I have three Overlords and a Falconier in my deck. So if I use all of them as a Falconier, then I can gain four Mountain Villages, and then I need to just get rid of two Grubbers. And if my opponent doesn't score, that means I win. Um, yeah. And I mean, I am very well ahead because just this, this trash, right? It's five of my Coppers, three of my Estates, and uh, yeah, they, they're playing a Herald deck with uh, seven gem cards in their deck. Or maybe it's four of my coffers. Okay, maybe I'm not as far ahead. Okay, are they gonna lower mountain villages? That seems like a terrible choice. Ah, no. Mm. It's a it's a strange uh, strange game. It's like okay. Mm. Let's... Why did you buy an estate? <laughs> oh, you bought a grubber. That yeah, that seems like a questionable choice. I would not have done that. You can also buy a gold, you know, just you need more money or something in your Herald deck. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> this should make it harder for me to pile out, not easier. Uh, I, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that makes it harder for me to pile out. I don't think it's impossible. I can probably grubber the grubber into the province. I have six goddamn grubbers. <laughs> Why did I do this to myself? I was expecting that that is a possibility. Uh oh. My turn's ended. All right. That's how I'm going to end my turn. Then the the old pile out plans they did not work out, but it's all right. I uh, I, I made three provinces this this turn. That's pretty good. If my opponent makes three provinces, I lose. Then then I deserve the loss <laughs> for all of the playing around that I did this game. It was so bad. All right, now I have three grubbers left in my deck. Oh, they, they're gaining a duchy. Okay, well, if you buy a province, that's not great. Okay, I think that's just an easy win then. Hey, I did it. Arvis did something. All right. <laughs> Grubbering is hard. Uh, we got there. Um, all right. Let's see. Uh, all right, game. Uh, it's game four time, and uh, I am up two and one. Now. Huh. Mm, all right. I don't want to play the Necropolis. I don't think so. What do we have here? Uh, Hunting Lodge can draw cards. We have Procession Necromancer, that's fun. I, I do like this Necromancer idea. And uh, yeah, the, the rest card, the rest of the cards doesn't look particularly exciting. But it's okay. Um, I don't think I open procession. It's 
my heart wants to open a procession, okay? But I don't think so. Teamog is bad because of shelters. Uh, I think I'm going to open Schindler and Carpenter. It's no trashing. It's kind of sketchy. Maybe I should have a Necro or a Salvager. Salvager is pretty bad, though. I do need to trash cards. Maybe a Forge does that. How am I hitting 7, though? Uh, maybe I just Carpenter to gain Salvager or something at some point. That... That is a play you can make, yes. <laughs> oh no. My opponent is just going to hit my overgrownest. Oh no, okay. Okay, sure. <laughs> it's actually not so bad because you have to give me a four cost card. And all of these four cost cards are pretty decent. <laughs> This play is so bad. Oh my goodness. Out of all of the... I don't understand. Okay. Um... Well, enemy Schwindler is clearly trashing. <laughs> That was so bad. I I don't understand that. Wait, what? All right, please play that Schindler more. I like. I am delighted to see it. Yeah, I am delighted to see more Schindlers. Uh. Unfortunately, oh no, there's no procession in the trash yet. I I shall gain maybe a salvager. I don't want to give you a procession. Yeah, let's let's settle on the T mog. That like that was literally the best case outcome. For their spin. I guess, okay, hitting my spin there is the best face outcome, but like, what? No, yeah, I want more Necros then. Necro is also trashing. That's worth something. Yeah, and uh, eventually. I'm just going to like. Necropolis, Necromancer, Zombie, Apprentice, something, uh, and draw into a Forge and trash cards with Forge, hopefully. Or you can buy, buy an estate. Get your hands off my Carpenter for... Just let that card be, alright? <laughs> okay, sure. You can trash the curse. Three carpenters in that trash. Oh, I can call it T Mog. Uh, I don't think I want to, though. I mean, I could call the team up to upgrade this procession into a lodge. And then play a carpenter for a, another procession or for a necro. Okay, I like that actually. Uh, as a carpenter in a necro. Okay, well, I was hoping for something better here. I I was hoping to well, not draw into that necro, but I suppose 
if I had to. Okay, and now I can uh, necro into a carpenter. No, I want to necro into something that draws cards. So probably zombie spy. Just because I want to get to forge. Yeah, they salvage two cards. This Necromancer is going to be an extremely good card, though. <laughs> also, this game is going to end in, like, no time. Maybe I process the Necro, actually. No, I want to pro... I can only cast Procession once, yeah. Maybe getting to Forge is not as important as I think. I think I'm going to process the Schindler. Okay. And I can gain an action for four. So I'll gain a lodge. Oh, this, this is a disaster hand. They trust coppers. Yeah, I should be trashing coppers here. I should be more diligent about trashing this garbage. Oh no, this is. I've trashed their overgrown estate, right? Yeah, upgrading uh, OE into an estate is actually bad, right? Because uh... there. <laughs> Yeah, upgrading OE into a uh, a state is bad because um, what am I trying to say? Oh, you should province here. Should absolutely province. Game's about to end. All right, I am glad that you didn't province. <laughs> Obviously. This game's super ending. Okay, I guess you've upgraded your estate all the way into the Schindler now. Ah, uh, I'm getting cursed. No. It's bad. Okay, mm. and I, I don't have, I can play a plus action thing, but just one. Oh no, there's a Necropolis if I want to play a Necropolis. I don't know what the last card is, I don't really care. Uh, I mean this. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, I think I want to procession this Schindler. And I definitely want to province. Oh uh, yeah, you can have a silver back. Schindler, uh... Wait, oh, you tra I trashed your necropolis, right? Mm -hmm. I think it's procession, but I don't think it matters. I think I want to play another Schindler. Because I think I just want to get into province. I think I can give you a T-Mog. Oh no. This is a com completely dead hand. It's not good. You're gonna give me a procession, right? I'm happy about that. Um, I can actually call. I think I want to call one team. Oh, I could call two team mods and uh, turn this hand into something by upgrading into a lodge. Should do that. All right. Um. I'm gonna Schwindler this OE. 
Or can I? Oh no, I can carpenter this OE. No, I should be doing that, yeah. Alright, I can uh, process this necro into a carpenter. Can I win this turn? Is that possible? I shall process this necro into a... Oh. I guess it has to be Necropolis. It can be Zombie Spy too. And do a Zombie Spy. Uh, sure, I don't care about that. And a Schindler. All right. I want to be going for this pileout. And uh, I'm going to play a Necropolis. And I'm going to discard and draw five. And do I have it? Uh, hmm. Proc the proc the Necro. Okay, so I just need to... I mean, I can have a losing pile out by salvaging this province. Mm -hmm. I am... I want to draw cards, but I can't, right? There's literally zero way in here to draw cards. Yeah, I don't see a way in here to draw cards. All right, well, let's... I could... Let's fire off some Schindlers. And I could fire off another Schindler. Or I could Salvager. Mm, I think I just fire off another Schindler, though. Just their curse. All right, well, you can have another curse. So grab a lodge. This is not going to my hand. Nope. All right, let's. I don't want to get that close to a pileout. So I think I'm just going to grab an explorer and I'm going to buy a duchy. Ah, oh, that. That was crazy. These turns are crazy, ridiculous, and scary. Because the, the game can end any moment with uh, Schwindler just hitting into anything. Like hitting into a lodge, hitting into a carpenter. I lost points. I don't like seeing that. They do need to make up six points and uh, empty piles to win. And that seems incredibly difficult. Maybe this possible though. I don't have a team in play and there's no lodges in the trash yet. If they Schwindler my lodge, I'd be delighted. Okay, they, they've gained the province. Mm. I think I want to draw here. So I think I want to zombie apprentice this. Okay. This hand looks horrendous, but I... Oh, I can uh, trash this curse into an estate for a two-point swing. I think I want to discard and draw five here. Uh, ooh, that's nice. That's two golds. 
but that's not good enough. I just need to uh, throw away the sand again. Uh, is there a procession in the trash? Yes, it's pro there is an unused procession in the trash. I have a points lead. So uh, I can necro process this carpenter into two carpenters. Right? Uh, uh, kill Timo, kill Lodge into two carpenters, and then I gain a Lodge, and then I win. Right? That seems like a win, yes. Uh, here's the Timo into a carpenter. Trash the Lodge into a carpenter. Gain a Lodge, and uh, end this game. Alright. <laughs> this was really silly. Uh, okay. Uh, that is the match. Uh, right, uh, this is... Uh, I can report the score. Good. Good, sure. No, it's just... Okay, uh, yeah. That, that was it. Uh, that is... Uh, that's my big games match. So in the standings, that will put me at uh, what? Ten victories and two losses. Uh, four wins ahead of Chestic. Uh, it seems pretty strong, and I think I'm almost guaranteed a spot in the finals with that. Hopefully. All right. Mm, anyway, uh, thanks everyone for watching. And uh, if anyone on Discord has any input, uh, then feel free to hop in and talk to me. And uh, yeah, and for everyone who's watching this after, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you around.